In this movie, I will be giving you a whistle-stop demonstration of the new Houses and Extensions Plus programme. We're going to price a complete new build, so you can get a proper feel for how this programme could benefit you. As I said, it is a whistle-stop, so we won't be covering the ins and outs of every detail or feature the programme can offer. We've got other movies to cover that. But to spice things up and really put the programme to the test, we'll be creating a quote for a five-bedroom house, complete with a full set of reports, in 11 minutes. Yes, you did hear me correctly. I did say 11. Right, let's get cracking. Let's open the programme and start a new quotation. Every new quote begins with the client and job details form. Just fill in the details using the self-explanatory layout. Select a start date for the work. Use the built-in job reference system if you wish. Select the type of job for the payment schedule. As I said, I'm pricing a new house. Once it's completed, click Save and Start Quote. A unique quote for this job will now be generated and will be taken straight to the pricing sheet, where the programme will do all the hard work for you and take the exasperating out of estimating once and for all. OK, to help you get the most out of this, before I start the clock, I'll quickly explain the layout of the pricing sheet. The pricing sheet is preloaded with all the estimating modules required for new works. These are laid out in the order that the actual work would take place. Within each module, or pricing section, are all the possible items or tasks that may be needed to complete that section of work. These items or tasks are also laid out in a logical order that relates to the way a real job actually runs. Everything that you may require to price new building works is here on this single sheet. So no clicking back and forth, opening multiple windows, then trying to work out where you are is involved. You can price a job by starting at the top and working your way down. Think of the pricing sheet as a state-of-the-art intuitive checklist. The pricing modules are linked and interact with each other. So when you begin putting information into one section, the programme will begin calculating information in any other relevant section. For example, when you've entered your walls, the plastering section will spring to life and work out what you need. But we'll get to that in a minute. You can work from top to bottom or navigate freely around by using the pricing section tab here. Or by clicking the interactive picture accessed via this button. Everything on the pricing sheet is based on this simple key. If you see a red box and it relates to something you require, fill it in. If you see a blue box, look at what it's for and use your judgement. At Easy Price Pro we don't guess and some things will need the unique knowledge that comes from having visited the site and knowing your workers. Yellow boxes or drop-downs need to be checked. These will be pre-filled by the programme with a standard default setting, for example a material or plant item, or a quantity of hours, but you may want to adjust this to your preferences. Green boxes contain a price. If you are wondering where the prices come from, they all come from the central library that's included with the New Houses and Extensions Plus programme. It's pre-loaded with guide prices supplied by Easy Price Pro. You can also add your own. You can learn more about this in our other movies. This button minimises the header, which is great for increasing your working space. There are lots of other useful buttons here as well, like the magnifying glass. Struggling to see a description? With this you won't be. Every individual item is laid out in the same way. The column headings here are self-explanatory, but just to show you what I mean, here is the description of what the item or task is. Here you can select a different material or plant item. The cost is based on this selection, it's easy to adjust if the standard default doesn't meet your needs. Once pricing is underway, the quantity required, if any, will be shown here. The price is here. Any plant, material, labour costs and hours associated with the task will be filled in here when you begin pricing. Right, I think we're good to go. Oh, before I forget, here are the plans that we're working from. And this is a 3D picture of the house we're going to be pricing in the next few minutes. Right, let's get going. Start the clock. I'll open the site setup. Lots of blue boxes, our judgement is required. There are two things we want to allow for in here. As it's a new build, we do want a storage container. We'll need it for 12 weeks. We'll also want a toilet on site. That we'll have for 26 weeks. Now straight to the foundations. We're not doing a raft foundation, it's a trench. There are red boxes to be filled in. Or you can use the picture like this. So 10 external corners, 6 internal, 3 internal trench foundations. Look, go straight into the correct boxes on the pricing sheet. Now just fill in the rest of the information. I'll do it in the red boxes this time rather than the picture. Have you noticed? As I put these numbers in, all the items and tasks for the foundation, along with the costs, are being worked out. Ten minutes doesn't seem such a tall order now, does it? We'll want an auto level for one day, and I'll adjust this to 16 hours to allow for the two workers. A three and a half ton excavator for two days, a six ton dumper for two days. The soils are being removed on this job, so I'll select a 20 ton lorry to take them away. Trench reinforcement isn't required, so I'll leave that unchecked. The concrete looks good. The foundations are done. The totals for this section are here. Next it's the ground floor. This is perhaps the most complex estimating task on any build and with just 10 minutes I don't have time to mind boggle you with the sheer amount of number crunching the programme's about to do to ensure it's easy. So just watch and see how the NHE Plus makes this often tricky 
Always complex pricing task, simple. Top soil to be removed is 0.3. Keep an eye on the yellow length of external walls in a leaf box. The external wall's outer leaf is 56 linear meters. Did you see? The inner leaf is automatically calculated. The programmers use the numbers of internal, external corners information, cavity width and so on to do this. You can select the ground floor wall type using the picture. It's a doddle. Enter the internal single and double leaf load bearing walls. Sub base depth is automatically calculated. Enter the oversight concrete depth, the oversight concrete slab area, and we're done. Let's take a look. We don't want timber joists. We do want an excavator for a day to help move the sub base soils around. Everything needed for the walls is worked out, along with the sub base and concrete slab. Now, time for the walls. So far, we've had to enter very few numbers to generate the costs. You'll be pleased to hear this doesn't change. In fact, you'll notice that as we get further down, even less will be required from you, as the program will take what you've already put in and utilise it fully. Like now. As you've seen, I selected the type of wall using the picture that's located here on the pricing sheet. Often when using other estimating programs, this can be a bit of a mission, but a few clicks in the NHE Plus and it's done. My ground floor walls are the same as the foundations, so just tick this box, enter the height, and allow for these gable walls in the other walls box. Click here to put in the first floor walls. So just complete the yellow boxes and enter the relevant linear meters. The name you put in here will be used throughout the pricing sheet and on the reports. The walls are now done. Every single item is worked out. We can see the material and labour costs, as well as the hours for the main walls and first floor walls. There are further options to allow for coins and soldier courses if required. From those few numbers, the walls are completely priced. Here's the current total for them. The NHE Plus has looked at the area of the walls and the scaffolding's worked out. So it's windows and doors already. At the moment, we've put in the length and height of the walls, but entered no windows, so it's one big solid wall. We can see the total number of brick and blocks for the main walls here. Let's put in seven windows. These are on the ground floor, so that's the main wall. We'll go back to the walls. See? Straight away the bricks and blocks have adjusted to allow for this. Let's enter the rest of the windows and doors that are needed. The moment these numbers are put in, the NHE Plus will instantly adjust all the items in the wall section that will be affected. So bricks, blocks, sand, cement, wall ties. And even though we haven't got there yet, the lintels, first and second fixed carpentry sections, plastering, decorating sections and so on are all readjusting making way and allowing for the windows and doors that we're putting in here. Moving on to the glazing. As we're using plastic windows, the NHE knows that it's already been included in the frame, so it doesn't allow for any. If they'd been hardwood, this would have been filled in. I mentioned that the lintels were automatically worked out as the windows were added, and here you can see the proof. We do need to enter the quantity of lintels required for the internal doors. It's easy to spot as it's a red box. We don't need concrete sills, but we do need cavity trays. Beams and pad stones aren't needed for this job. The lintels are complete. Let's move to above the ground floor. How are we doing for time? Very good by the looks of it. I'll just stop the clock for a moment. We've whizzed through, so this does seem like a good place to do a quick recap. OK, so as it stands, we've entered the details for the site setup, foundations, ground floor, walls, windows and doors, glazing and lintels. As we've already seen, the NHE Plus is intuitive. It does use the basic information that's entered to perform numerous calculations. As we continue, keep your eye out for all the pricing sections that now require very little input because they've already been calculated based on the information that's already been put in. Let's start that clock again. We need to put in the joists. This picture very nicely shows how to go about entering them. You can rename each section so it's relevant to you if you want, then just enter the width of the bay and the length of the joist, adjusting the centres if required. You can enter any doubles in the blue box. Instantly, you're provided with the cutting list. This is really handy as it's worked out in lengths that can actually be purchased. Another job off your list. Everything's instantly calculated, along with all the required fixings. There's a blue box. It's for timber joist hangers. Four of these are needed for the stairwell. Above ground floor is done. Time for pricing the roof? Definitely. Like the ground floor, accurately pricing a roof can be a tricky, frustrating business. But with the NHE Plus, it's so straightforward, I'm actually going to do my best to make it as difficult as possible to keep you watching. This is the roof that we need to price for this job. It's hand cut, so no trusses. That will toughen it up a bit. And by design, it's very complex, with lots of different types of roof involved. With other methods of estimating, you'd be looking at a long night. But with the NHE Plus, let's see if we can turn hours into minutes. We'll break it into sections like in the picture. Let's start with the main middle section. Are you ready? Click on the thumbnail picture. Choose roof type. It's apex. Now choose structure. Rafters. Move to stage two. Now the roof style. It's a hip both ends. Click the picture. We go to stage three. Here I have options on the materials. You can choose if collars are required and you can choose the size of timber. See, 
The picture highlights the part of the structure you're selecting the material for. We want collars and ceiling joists, so both boxes are ticked. If extra timbers are required, just enter in the quantity in the blue box. Hip materials are here. When you're done, enter it onto the pricing sheet. Now just check the pitch, enter the span, soffit width, length, check the centres. Oh, and enter the length of the collars. Um, yeah, that's it. I did warn you it was ridiculously straightforward. OK, I know the roof pricing is really fast to do. So let's put in the other three sections of roof and you can see the process again. We're going to price this section here, the lean-to roof with a gable both ends. Click on additional roof sections. See, it opens up and we just repeat the process with a thumbnail picture. So it's a lean-to roof, rafters again, it's gable both ends, don't need collars, the materials are correct, enter it onto the pricing sheet. Again, just check the pitch, enter the span, soffit width and length, check the centres, and this section is priced. I can change the title of this section so it's relevant to the job. I'll call it Roof Over Lounge. I'll put in the details for the remaining two roof sections now. This is the Hip Valley section, and I'll call it Roof to Front Porch. It's easy to watch this and think, oh, well, maybe pricing a roof isn't that complicated. Don't be fooled. The whole programme has been designed to produce accurate estimates and quotes using the most basic and minimal amount of information possible. It does all the complex number crunching for you behind the scenes. But if you ever want to know what it's doing, the pricing sheet is packed with blue info icons and question marks, so you always know exactly how it's working things out. Right, the roof is done. Not only does the program work out the number of linear metres of timber you'll need, you also have a cutting list, so it's worked it out into lengths that you can actually purchase. We'll go back to the main pricing sheet. I can see the cost for each roof section here. The insulation has a really handy feature. Look at this. Other items like wall plate, gable ladders, fascia and soffit are all worked out. The totals are here. By this point, it shouldn't really come as a surprise, but the roof tiling section is basically done. The main job here is using the pictures to select the type of covering. Areas to be covered, hips, valleys and so on are automatically worked out. The program instantly calculated this when we were entering in the details for our roof structure. We don't need to use the flat roof or flat roof covering on this job. Guttering. Most of this is worked out. We just need to enter three numbers into the red boxes. We've only just arrived at the first fixed carpentry, but the further down the pricing sheet you go, the less work you need to do. We're just specifying which ones to include. The flooring is calculated. This thumbnail is great. See? The flooring is going over the oversight. We want it, so we'll leave it ticked. We can see the joist flooring. It's all going to be in our upper floors. Yes, we want this. We do want a tank stand. That's now all worked out. Now we're at the internal wall stud work and partition walls. There is a bit of stud work in the upper floors, so let's get that in. Plasterboard is all calculated. Door linings have already been brought down. We do want stairs. We've chosen plastic windows and dummy frames. The fitting costs for these have been moved here. Every single fixing has been automatically calculated. You can view them if you want. We're at the plumbing first fix now. We'll make this section into a PC sum. First fix electrics is next. Again, just enter the quantities required into the red boxes and the programme will take care of the rest. This is a new build, so alterations aren't needed but this section is great when you're pricing an extension. Plastering now. The internal walls have all been calculated. We just need to select the type, like this. We'll be doing a scratch coat. Everything needed is worked out. And as you've seen, no measurements entered by me. If you wanted to plaster the external walls and just do the first floor, you'd literally do this. Easy, hey? We aren't doing that on this job, so I'll just reset it. The floor screen's been a loud floor. We're doing a floating floor, so we'll just untick that. Ceilings are automatically done, so plastering is priced. Plumbing second fix now. Again, we'll make this into a PC sum. The second fix electrics follows. We don't really need to do a lot here either. We'll just check the PC sum box. There are some red boxes at the start of the second fix carpentry, so just fill them in, if they're required. As you'll notice, this was basically complete when we arrived. Fixings can be viewed by clicking here. Let's complete the foul drainage. It's very straightforward, and if you ever need clarification of what an item is, you can click on the red and blue question marks located throughout the pricing sheet. Let's get the drive entrance in. We'll select the finish, it's tarmac. Complete the red boxes. Once this has been done, you repeat the process for the actual driveway. We're flying through this quotation, but I really wanted you to see just how quickly and efficiently a completely accurate estimate or quote can be created. OK, landscaping and fencing. We do have fencing. Click the picture. Choose the style. Now just enter the length and height. Now select the type of post hole. This feature is so neat. The kitchen's going to be a PC sum, but rather than putting in the items and ticking the box, we'll do it like this instead. Now just enter the cost on the pricing sheet. The decorating has been completely worked out. Nothing's been missed out, and there's a handy summary of all the materials here. They're rounded up so you don't overorder. We're now at the finishes section. 
we need to allow for ceramic wall and floor tiling. There's also the option to allow for snagging and cleaning costs. We'll enter our connection fees here in the statutory payments. And that brings us on to the laying of services. We just put the total run for the connections that are needed and allow for any plant in the blue boxes. We don't have any professional fees or any additional PC sums. So would it be wrong if I said, da-da? Hmm, perhaps. So how about stop the clock? Our job is priced. But hang on, if you're thinking, but you said we'd have a full set of reports. Keep watching. Every report is automatically created when we're pricing. It's just a case of clicking the buttons to open them. Let's go to the summary. This is great. It shows the hours and totals for each pricing section or module that we've just completed. You have an at-a-glance snapshot of the job. And if you want to view the details, click any of the view buttons and you can go straight back to the pricing sheet and fine tune if required. Electrics, plumbing and the kitchen are all PC sums. Any PC sums are colour coded on here, so it's instantly clear. This is also the place that you can add on your markups. You can do unique markups for the materials, plant, labour, also the PC sums and services and professional fees. You've got so much control. Once you've adjusted the overheads to your preferences, you can see exactly how much clear profit you're going to make. And the handy sliders make tweaking these details a breeze. VAT is dealt with here. This work is zero rated, but you just enter the relevant VAT percentage in here. Let's check out the payment schedule. Again, automatically produced. If you recall on the job details page, we entered that we were doing a new house. So the payment schedule is based on this, but there are loads of ways that you can adjust and fine tune the schedule when you get here, including adding in an initial payment. If a retention is a requirement of the contract, you can build one of these in too. It's dead straightforward. The work schedule is all done for you. Again, tweaking it isn't a problem if required. Want to get prices for the materials? A material order list is at your fingertips. You can also put this into our Easy Order Ultra program and send it out to as many merchants as you wish, compare all the prices and negotiate yourself the best deal. If you need a complete bill of quantities, again, click the button and make the most of the hours you've just saved yourself. And the piece de resistance. Yes, here it is, the written quotation, automatically written for you with a cover letter. Each section of works neatly laid out, explaining what is and isn't included. Attractive pictorial references, options to put in your own logo and include a payment schedule at the bottom. The ability to export to Microsoft Word. After preparing a quote, typing it all up can feel like an uphill struggle. With the NHE Plus, click a button and it's all done for you. The price has got to be right, but a properly presented quote tells the customer so much about the type of business you run and instills confidence in your ability to get the work finished. Another automatic document that potential clients like is their own summary. See? It's like the one you have, but all the markups and overheads are built in and you can control the amount of detail you give them. There are further reports and charts available in the programme, but as this is a whistle-stop demonstration, I'm going to stop here. So we've done it. Price a job in minutes with a complete set of job-winning reports. We've gone through everything quickly, so I can appreciate that you may have questions that haven't been answered by this movie. Or perhaps you can already see what this programme can bring to your business and want one for yourself. Either way, we'll be happy to help. Give us a call on 0845 612 4747. We can answer any questions you might have or direct you to a more detailed movie or if you want a more in-depth look at what the NHE Plus can do. We can also arrange an online, no-obligation demonstration for you. Alternatively, you can visit www.easypricepro.com or email info at easypricepro.com. Thanks for watching and we'll look forward to hearing from you soon.